I've imported my site plan. This is a PDF copy of it. And I've scaled it in ARCHICAD so it's the correct size. So here it is here. And now I've got my site. So I've created a mesh for my site. If we look at this in 3D, there's my mesh there. And what I really need on my mesh are my contour lines. Let's go back to our 2D. So here it is here. This is my mesh. And what I really need to do is to get access and see through it so I can see my contour lines. How are we going to do that? Well, if I select the mesh, I can go up to here, up to plan and section. And what I can do is I can say, let's turn off the color fills for this example. So I can actually see through it. Now it's going to be difficult to select it again. And what I'm going to need to do when I go back to 3D, I'm going to have to select the 3D. Uh, I don't want to see that editing mesh, but I select the 3D and then I turn the cover fills back on. So I'm going to need to turn it back on and the easiest way to select it will be into my 3D window. So back to my ground floor plan. Now I am drawing this on the ground floor plan, but the same thing we're doing works if it's on sea level. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my, my spline tool. That's under more. Here it is here, my spline tool. This one here. And I'm going to trace over my contours. So I'm going to start here and we'll just click and we'll just move along this, this contour here. Clicking on my contour, try and get as close as you can to those contours. We can, if we need to, move it back, but you can see it's pretty close. So again, we're going to start here, click. I'm going to make sure I zoom in so I get as close as I can to my contours. If we have to, we can move them again. Uh, you can see it gets a bit tight just here, so a couple more extra points there. And then it finishes about here. So I double click to finish. Now let's go to the next one. So click here. Again, I've zoomed in enough so that I can see it easily. And now I can't snap to it. You'll notice it's a little bit tricky to snap to that PDF. So I'm just going to click along the edge. And double click there to finish. And you can actually start from one end or the other. It doesn't really matter. If you're zoomed in, you might find it easier to start one at one end and then zoom in to the other one and snap along it. And the last one. Now each of these contours has a specific height. And what we need to do is first of all we need to turn these contours into ridges, user defined ridges on my mesh and then I can lift them to the correct height. So there we are. So I've got all my splines and now I'm going to go back to my 3D. So before I forget I'm just going to turn the contours back on. So I've selected my mesh. Let's just go back to here. Turn on my cover fills. Cool. And I've got sort of grey. I've got a grey fill for that. And when we go back to our ground floor you can see it's turned back into this grey. So I'm going to select my mesh. I'm going to select my mesh tool. There it is there. And now I'm going to use the space bar and I'm going to click on each mesh. And when I do that it'll turn that spline into a user ridge on my site model. So here, fit to user ridges, yes, do that. And I'm going to do that for each one. And this one here, make sure you do the inside of the site model. So there it is. Now what I need to do is to select one of these dots here. Let's just click on it. And it's not to mesh reference plane, it's to project zero. And I know this one is 15 meters, so it's 15, and then 0, 0, 0. And apply to all the dots on this line, all the nodes. Cool, now the same with this one. So click on this ridge, click on one of those dots. This one is 15.5, so 15, 5, 0, 0. And the next one, 16 meters. Now I'm doing it quickly, but just check each one project zero so this should actually be 16500 yeah apply to all and this one should be 17 meters now it's done the entire thing I just need to get the right one that one uh, you might notice there were two polylines or two splines I could have used so 17 zero, zero, zero. okay so now I can delete that spline I can delete that one that one that one and that one 
this is on a layer so I can right click and I can choose layers and I can hide that layer and there's my contours now when I go to the 3D we should see my contours on there and that's how I can make sure that I'm accurate with my contours there we are Now if you want to move those contours, you certainly can. So if we need to redo our site or do some site modeling, for example, I can click on one of these node points and I can change to a different option like that one. And then I can move my contours around. So I could start here and move that contour down there, move this one to here, and I could make a retaining wall style. So let's move that one back to there and I'll move these ones back as well so let's move that one back to there I'll leave that one where it is so we'll move this one back to here and what we should end up so what we're doing is we're actually changing just make sure you grab that dot there uh, I'm changing the fill or the, um, the cut and fill of my site so now I've flattened out this area here so if I go back to a 3d view You can see I've now got a flat area through here and then I've got a kind of retaining or a banking just here. If you make those very close together, so let's bring that one and we'll bring that one very close to this point here and this one very close as well. It should make that batter quite steep. bring this one quite close as well and the last one we'll bring that really close over here and now we should find that that batters that is a quite a steep slope so we come along here gentle steep slope there and then pretty flat until it gets to here and then it starts sloping again so that's how you can uh, modify your site and you can play around with those there are other ways of doing site modeling but that's not a bad way to do it. So let's just go back and see. I'll, I'll put all these back if I can. I'm just using my undo command, Control Z, Control Z, um, and that will put those back. Okay, so now it's back to where it belongs. I can save that file, and now I'm ready to move on.